And let's go ahead and get started. All right. So first, I, I wanted to just say thank you to everybody who joined today's call. I'm really excited to talk about Bike to Work Day, but really to talk about ways businesses can get involved. I think the business challenge is a really awesome opportunity for us to get support from our partners and stakeholders in the region um, and have you help us encourage people to ride on Bike to Work Day. So before we start, um, just a couple of quick housekeeping notes. As I mentioned, this video will be recorded and posted online. Um, I'm most likely going to send out an email after this call to all of the participants um, with that link and um, also some links to additional resources, which we will cover today. Um, I am going to bracket some time at the end of the call for questions, but I'm going to ask you to hold any questions you have until that point. Um, if you come up with a question as we're speaking, um, by all means, feel free to drop that into the chat feature. If you hover over your Zoom toolbar, you should see a little icon that says chat on it. Just click on that, add your, uh, add your question or comment. And Maddie, who's on the line um, from Dr. Cog, she'll be monitoring and um, reading those questions from chat aloud once we get into that question slide. The other way you can ask questions is to simply wait until we get to that question slide and then raise your hand. Um, if you raise your hand, Maddie will also call on you. You can unmute yourself and then ask your question, and we're happy to address them. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So just wanted to quickly go through the agenda. Um, as everybody here is most likely aware, we are here today to talk about the Bike to Work Day Business Challenge. Um, but I'm also going to talk a little bit about the history of Bike to Work Day what the event is all about, and of course, other ways that you can get uh, involved in the event. Um, I also wanna talk about this year's theme. Um, as everybody knows, uh, you know, the, the pandemic really changed a lot of commute behaviors, and we now live in a region where not everybody commutes to the office every single day. We do wanna be inclusive with all of our Bike to Work Day events of those riders or participants who don't commute to the office every day. Um, but instead might telework or follow a flexible work schedule. So um, Blair, who's also on the line from Dr. Cog, will be talking a little bit about that theme. Um, I also wanna talk a little bit about the business challenge and how you can participate. I will share my screen um, in more detail and I'm just gonna ask people if you're not speaking to please mute yourselves. Um, that way we will just have a nice clean recording for everybody. Um, thank you so much. I can mute you, but um, I'd rather uh, present the, the deck than, than go through all of the, um, the participants and mute you. So appreciate you all muting yourself. Um, I'm going to share my screen in a couple of instances. I'll show this deck, and then I'll also show a couple of um, website links with resources that will be helpful for you. I'm going to show you how employees can register for the business challenge and then review some marketing materials that we've set aside for each of you. Um, we'll also look at the leaderboard and talk about what prizes are available. Um, I'm really excited to talk about what prizes are available because we have some very cool ones this year. Um, finally, I've bracketed some time at the end to hear best practices from a couple of coordinators who have participated in way to go programs in the past, both the business challenge as well as a commuter challenge that we run in the fall called GoTober. I'm hoping that hearing from these experts will help you get some ideas for how you can manage your business challenge strategy and also start some conversations. Um, and as I mentioned after that, we're happy to answer any questions you might have. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, let me just mute everybody before we do that. I'm not sure where that background noise is coming from. Give me one moment. Okay, I think we should be good to go. Excellent. So I won't read everything that's on the slide. You all can see this, um, but I did just want to mention that this year Bike to Work Day is going to take place on Wednesday, June 28th. 
Um, one of the questions we get from stakeholders and organizers is what hours does bike to work day happen? Um, it's really up to you, the organizer or the business challenge participant to kind of decide when you want to be involved in the event. Um, but we consider the entire day of June 28th to be bike to work day. Some of our partners do celebrations early in the morning and others do them in the afternoon or after work. So really all of Wednesday, June 28th, um, as far as way to go con is concerned, should be considered bike to work day. Um, we do a lot of our planning in, a, in partnership with our transportation management association partners, local governments and transportation and advocacy organizations. So we really look to those partners to help us get the word out and also help us coordinate and plan all of the things that makes this event so much fun. Um, there are also a couple of ways that private sector businesses, and I know a lot of private sector industries are on the line right now, and um, there are lots of ways that you can get involved as well. So we'll talk about that. Um, and then as I mentioned, um, we'll talk a lot about the business challenge and how you can participate in that. But really the purpose of Bike to Work Day, in addition to getting people like you, so organizers at businesses involved in you know, transportation, getting those single occupant vehicles off the road, um, really the purpose of Bike to Work Day is to provide a structured experience for commuters who wanna ride their bikes to the office, but may not be sure or confident of how to do that. And each year we have about 30% of our registrants who have participated for the first time. And so we really like that Bike to Work Day gives them a little bit of, uh, again, that structure to enjoy the event. I wanna talk very quickly about the Way to Go program. Um, I realize I have not introduced myself, I apologize. My name is Nisha Mokshagundam. I manage the Way to Go program at the Denver Regional Council of Governments. Bike to Work Day is one of the biggest events that we host, um, but we do a lot of other work with businesses and commuters and residents in the Denver region where we just help them find non uh, single occupant vehicle ways to get around. So instead of getting into that car um, and driving somewhere alone, we like to recommend that they use transit or active transportation options like biking, walking. Um, we can also connect them with carpool, vanpool resources as well. So really way to go's goal is to get people out of their cars and into more sustainable modes of transportation. So you can see why Bike to Work Day is one of our biggest um, events and one of our most popular ones as well. So now I'm going to turn things over to my colleague Blair. He's going to talk a little bit about this year's theme. Thanks, Nisha. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Blair Munson. I'm an outreach specialist with the Way to Go program. And like Nisha said, we uh, do a lot of work to try to get people out of their cars and into uh, different modes of transportation. And uh, Bike to Work Day is a big, a big part of that. So um, this year, we've uh, chosen the theme of Joyride, which, uh, as you can see on the screen here, um, kind of evokes like a 70s type theme. And we're really excited about it. Um, and like Nisha said uh, in the intro, um, we uh, developed this theme to try to kind of be inclusive of all car trips, not just necessary or uh, replacing all car trips, not just um, trips to work. So we want to include people who are um, swapping out a car trip to the grocery store, to the gym, for any other kind of errand. We want them to also have fun uh, on bike to work day. Um, even if they're not, you know, going to work. So um, one of the ways uh, that we tend to do that is um, we have stations that are a lot are close together and people um, we we often see riders who are making a day of it. Like Nisha said, it's almost a holiday to where um, people will, will come from one station and say we were able to get water or coffee or a burrito at that one. Um, and, and they use um, the map uh, that we have on biketoworkday.com in order to sort of plan out their routes. And so um, I know you guys uh, are business challenge participants, but a lot of you since the pandemic started have um, have have switched a little bit more to telework. And we want to make sure that your employees um, who are teleworking are still able to include themselves uh, in Bike to Work Day and participate in the challenge um, and visit those stations so that so that they can get in the habit of, of getting out of those car trips and, and trading them for um, of trading them for bike trips. And so that's why this year's theme, we're trying to get people to, to see biking as fun and, 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 uh, 
and a different way to commute to any anything that they possibly can. And so we think as we're sort of like advertising in the lead up to this event, we're going to be using this joyride theme a lot in order to really get people to think of Bike to Work Day as this fun and happy holiday. And so we're really excited about it. And to answer the question that I see in the chat, um, there is going to be uh, swag, shirts, uh, and, and hats um, that should be available for ordering soon. And um, my personal opinion, it's really cool. And as I've always told Nisha, if you're a basketball fan, I know it's um, playoff time this year. It really reminds me of the Nuggets home jerseys. Um, and so be on the lookout for those links. And, and we'll be seeing this Joyride branding all across Denver. And we're really excited about it. Yay. I see some excitement in chat as well. I think that this design really lends itself well to merchandise. So glad you're all thinking ahead. Um, we would love to see people all across the region wearing this very cool shirt or hat, whatever you decide. Excellent. Well, thank you, Blair. So I did just want to review some dates really quickly. Um, I just wanted to mention that we started business challenge registration back in March. And the reason we did that is that gives um, businesses plenty of time to register for the challenge before rider registration opened this Monday, April 17th. Um, once I do my little demo and show you how riders can sign up, you'll see how important it is that businesses register early so that riders are able to go in and um, sign up as part of a as part of the business. Um, we can also talk a little bit about troubleshooting, um, but we'll we'll get to that um, we'll get to that soon. I did also want to mention that um, rider registration opened yesterday, the seventeenth, and employees can begin registering as soon as you know yesterday until the end of the day on June twenty eighth, and they can still help your company rise up the leaderboard. And they will also be entered into the drawing to win prizes, um, both of which we'll talk about shortly. So let's talk about the business challenge. So it's very, very easy to participate in the business challenge. The biggest, um, I would guess the, the, the most effort that you'll have to put into participating is really marketing the challenge within your workplace. We have a toolkit for you full of marketing resources and materials. Um, but essentially what we're asking you to do as coordinators for Bike to Work Day and the Business Challenge is to just socialize and promote Bike to Work Day among your staff. That's it. So each time someone from your company signs up on the website and they sign up as an employee with your organization, um, your company will earn points and climb a public facing leaderboard. I'm going to go ahead and share a little bit. Oh, let me go back. I'm just going to share with you um, the registration site. Let me let me just make sure I'm sharing the right thing. I'll stop and then reshare. Um, but I wanted to show you just how easy it is to register for the business challenge, since chances are you may get asked um, by your staff how to do it. So here is the biketoworkday.co website. This is where you would register both for the business challenge as well as to ride. So I'm going to drop that into chat here. And I'm just going to scroll down to the middle of the page where we get to the rider registration form. So, so far, really easy. Um, here's one thing that we're going to have you ask your employees to do is select this box that says join the business challenge. I'm actually going to make my screen even bigger just so that you can see all of that text really clearly. But right here, you can see the third checkbox says join the business challenge. When a rider clicks that button, they're going to see a drop down of companies. Um, I'm not sure why that drop down is not loading. Let me go ahead and refresh my screen. That's unfortunate. This was working um, as early as 11 a.m., so I'm not sure what's going on. Um, we will escalate this to our web development team. Um, but Hypothetically, you would see your business here. I wish I could see my business here because I was going to show you exactly how to do this. Um, this is really all of the information we need. We need a first name, a last name, an email address, and then a home zip code. Now, the home zip code really just helps us determine from where that rider is originating, um, and it's just good data for us. Let me see if that helped. It did not. Unfortunate. Um, so you will see a big drop down full of businesses. Um, 
when when you send your employees to register here. Um, Brittany, if you could ping Jeff and ask I him. I just troubleshooted it. Actually, I was going to let you oh, know. Perfect. I got it to work on my screen, but I can ping him because I just literally just tried it. So I don't know if it's the browser, but I'll, I'll message him and see if we can get it fixed for every user. Thank you. That would be great. Um, so yeah, it seems like maybe it's just an issue on my machine or perhaps my browser, um, but you will see a list of all of the registered businesses here. Your employee will select your business name and then hit this button that says we'll be there. And then you will just automatically, just like that, climb the leaderboard. You will earn some points for your business um, and climb the leaderboard here in one of these five size categories. Perfect. So that's, uh, that's the process for that. And if we're able to get that um, resolved, in fact, let me just see if it is my browser. I'll open a new browser quickly and see if that helps. Give me just one second and thank you for your patience. Okay, perfect. Seems like Firefox is, is working today. So I am actually gonna go ahead and register. Um, I have not yet registered for the business challenge. So I'm not getting um, Dr. Cog any, any additional points that we don't deserve. So you'll see this drop down now is populated with all of the business names. So I'm just gonna scroll down until I Denver Regional Council of Governments. I will select the company name and hit, I'll be there. So now Dr. Cog will have climbed the leaderboard nominally because one of their employees has registered. Um, so you can really see um, the, the results very quickly with, with the challenge registration. Excellent. So let me go back to my presentation deck. Um, give me one second. Perfect. All right. Also wanted to talk about marketing resources and I'm gonna do this not very um, seamless, you know, transition to my browser in a moment too. But first I just wanted to talk about um, what resources we have available. We've got a toolkit, um, which really kind of gives you all of the information you need about the history of Bike to Work Day, what the business challenge is, and all of those rules for participation. There's also a lot of contact info in there. If you have any issues as you're running your business challenge event, feel free to reach out to way to go um, We've got a couple of email addresses you can hit, and we're happy to, happy to work with you. Um, we do ask that you think creatively about where you can share these materials, which we'll look at momentarily. We've got some web graphics. So if you've got a website or an intranet, ideally where your employees participate and get company information, that's a great place to post some of this info. Um, if you've got digital signage um, in your break rooms, definitely feel free to download some of these materials. And if you do have graphic design capability with your within your organization, um, feel free mm -hmm. to modify any of these um, files and make them work for you. Um, we also have a lot of social media graphics. So, you know, a couple ways you can use social media to promote business challenge. Obviously, post to your page and encourage employees to sign up for the site, share out the registration link. We also think it would be fun and kind of funny if you were to call out your, um, your competitors or your partners in business and say, we have participated and signed up for the business challenge. We think you should too. Um, we think that's a really fun way to build engagement throughout the region. And you know, while we encourage people to sign up for the business challenge before registration opened, there is really no reason they can't continue to sign up until before the event. Obviously, those of you who are on this call signed up early, you have the best chances of winning the challenge, um, but people can register their businesses until June 28th. We just you know, don't necessarily recommend that. We think earlier is best. Finally, while we are giving away um, a series of prizes that we have purchased um, using sponsorship money, we also encourage you, if you have budget, to develop some incentives for your participants. So that could be anything from 
um, a bike to work day breakfast um, that you cater for employees, um, or this could be prizes that you purchase and you do a random drawing um, with way to go help. We could export a list of registrants for you, and then you could randomly choose someone to win prizes. So really a lot of ways you could build that excitement, um, but here are just a few ideas we have. All right, so let me go ahead now and share my screen again. Um, there is a great um, resource here in Dropbox. I'm going to just put this link into chat for all of you. Um, this link is available as of today. And all of the marketing materials that you'll need for this. Um, oh, give me one second. All of the marketing materials you will need are in this link. Yep, so you should be able to download that whenever you can. Um, really, the most important resource is this business challenge toolkit. So I'm just going to quickly tab over to that to give you a sense of what is in this toolkit. As I mentioned, just a lot of history on the Bike to Work Day event. But we've also got lots of tips for how you can participate. So um, definitely scroll through this as your leisure. Um, I will just share a couple of things that I think are really helpful. So we've got some links here to the toolkit. So this is the folder where all of those materials are available. Um, we've got a link to the website, biketoworkday.co, where you'll register. And then we've got all of our tags for social media. So definitely, if you do any sort of social media promotion, um, please tag us, um, tag the event just so that we know that you're participating. Um, and as I mentioned, lots of contact information here in case you have any questions as you go through this process. I'll go back to this main folder page, though, just to sort of show you what other resources we have available. So we've got a bunch of social media graphics. These are sized. Um, we've got one graphic at 1080, 1080 for Instagram. And then the rest of these are sized at 1920 by 1080, which is really optimal for a variety of social media platforms. So do feel free to download any of these resources and post them to your own social media. We've also got a lot of poster graphics for you. We have printed posters um, to, to one of the questions about swag. In addition to merchandise for sale, we also have a lot of printed materials. We've got an 11 by 14 glossy poster. If any of you are interested in picking up posters to give away, please reach out to btwd at drcog.org. We can provide you with printed versions or you can go to um, this business challenge page our toolkit and print out those um, posters yourself. Again, if you've got um, the, the ability to print out 11 by 14 uh, materials. I won't go through everything, but I will just click on the web graphics. Um, we tried to develop web graphics in a variety of sizes. And this is again for your owned media, whether that's your intranet or your external facing website. If you wanna help us promote Bike to Work Day, by all means, we would appreciate that. Um, if you'd rather post this to internal channels to get people to participate, I think that's a great idea as well. So um, hopefully all of you have that link. Um, I definitely recommend bookmarking this link. It's in your Zoom chat right now. So make sure you have access to that. All right, let me go ahead and reshare my slideshow. All right, and I am now going to turn things over to Brittany, and uh, she is an outreach specialist on the Way to Go team at Dr. Cog, and she is going to share a little bit about these amazing prizes we have. Thanks, Nisha. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really excited about our prizes this year. Um, we were fortunate to have REI as one of our sponsors. Um, so they are going to be purchasing a turn e-bike for us, which has some good cargo capacity on it. So that'll be a really good um, grand prize. And then we're also going to have a couple, um, you know, not quite as big ticket items, but really quality prizes. So riders can um, be entered to win these prizes just by registering for Bike to Work Day. So no need to do any other um, steps or, or track trips or anything like that. Um, one of them 
is uh, the Garmin tail light. So um, if you bike, you may have seen these. It's a recording camera and a light. Um, so it'll record several hours of video. Um, and you can also set it up with your phone um, or, you know, like a GPS unit or a head unit to give you an alert if there's a car coming up behind you so you know when they're passing. Um, one of the fun ones for more of the city commuters that we have this year are the shock absorbing cup holders. Um, I know for me personally, riding with coffee or anything, no matter where you put it, you will hit a bump no matter how little and the coffee will get everywhere. So these are kind of fun um, little cup holders that fit on the handlebars of your bike. So that'll be kind of um, a neat little prize. And then we have some Night Eyes um, disc wheel lights, which clip onto the spokes of the wheel. So it's easier for visibility um, on the side, which sometimes is an issue, as many of you know, for biking. Um, and we also are happy to provide a pro tune-up from Mike's Bikes as one of our prizes. And then, you know, we all know recovery is important. Um, so Lodo Massage Studio, we're going to be giving away a 60-minute massage from, from them. And then we have um, a couple little things and, you know, station giveaways um, at our stations. I want to applaud Brittany. Um, she really was instrumental in coming up with these prizes. She's an avid cyclist. So if any of you, you know, have at your organization, people who are hardcore cyclists, I really feel that these prizes will entice them to join. And if you have people who are joining um, who are first time riders, these are also tools that will really set them up for success as they uh, move into bike commuting as kind of a regular way of getting around. So I'm uh, really very excited. Um, and Brittany, I appreciate you shouting out REI. They've been a great partner throughout this um, throughout this process. And we're so pleased that they have um, you know, agreed to help us with this amazing giveaway. Perfect. So now we get to the fun part. Um, what happened to the winners last year? So we have a little bit of budget where we're able to recognize all of those businesses who participated in the business challenge and actually topped the leaderboards. So um, as you can see here in each of our five size categories, I've listed which companies won last year. And we've got a little photo here of Micron over in Longmont. Um, they received a catered breakfast, um, as did actually all of these other companies. And um, this year as well, we're happy to work with the winning companies um, and we're happy to work with their coordinators to come up with what sort of incentive works best for the employees. We've got a couple options to choose from, um, but we just wanna say thank you to both you, the uh, coordinator for promoting Bike to Work Day, as well as all of that staff who participated. Um, I am going to turn things over quickly to Chi over at Micron. Um, really great job getting your huge workforce to participate in the event. Can you tell us what worked for you last year and what advice you have for uh, for participants this time? Well, thanks for inviting me to kind of share my experience. Uh, that was my first year last year to kind of help to organize. Um, I think because of COVID, everybody was go cooped up. And I really like your theme, like joy to ride. So I use a very similar theme last year, say spring is fun, right? So we can buy, try to kind of perk stuff. Like, so it's, we're returning back to work because a lot, a lot of the micro employee were kind of either uh, they all masked up or they were home. So we're really trying to use this last year's activity as a way to invite people to come back to on site, right? So the, some of the thing that we did was we form a small committee committee with folks representative for different organizations, uh, especially the larger one, right? And so the thought was those will become the ambassadors to invite more and more of their colleagues to come and participate, right? And so that's definitely one, one of the things we did. And we also create our own promotion flyer because last year, I guess we registered late we, I didn't get all this nice promotion material that was available to us. So I, I, we kind of create something of our own. But using the, we kind of borrow some of the theme that that you already provided. Okay? So we just put those flyers in the break room, in the hallway, try to make this a very visible event. For everybody. Um, the other thing we did is kind of part of the committee was we create this internal web page, kind of as you suggested. We got a lot of people, they may not be used to bike to work. 
So we'll provide some useful information like where, if you want to part and ride, where do you part? And we also draw up the map of the routes where they could go from the nearby parking space to Micron and with the various distance. Right? Some people like to ride only five miles. Some people like say, hey, 10 miles is okay. And some people are longer, right? And so we kind of create some of that. Um, then we also provide some information like uh, tip, on safe commuting, you know, what do you need to watch out for? We talk about where are you gonna store your bike when you do bring your bike here. Uh, we talk about, uh, we also organize some fun event like free breakfast for the rider and also lunch, group lunch rides. So we try to kind of spice up a little bit and try to just get encourage other people to participate. That's really impressive. Um, I'm, I think that just, I think, explains why you were so successful. Um, and I think, you know, for those of you who may not have as much bandwidth as Micron um, to, to be able to do all of these things, I want to highlight what I think were probably the, the lowest hanging fruit as far as things you can do. That internal web page, that could be anything as, you know, basic as a new Teams or Slack channel, or it could be an intranet page um, if you use SharePoint, for example, where you can have um, lots of the information that was just described. So I think bike parking is really critical. If you're asking people to ride to work, tell them where they can ride their, or I'm sorry, park their bikes and um, assure them that this will be secure bike parking because obviously no one wants their staff to participate in an event where their bike is not securely stored. Um, so I think those are those are extremely, um, you know, I think easy tactics that all of you can can use. I think the your, your, community- The other thing, uh, I just kind of started to interrupt. The other yeah. thing like kind of talking about this internal webpage, what we did is because the company sponsored free t-shirt for those who registered, that's the swag that the company is sponsoring at the time. Um, so we, we have people that register and also on that same page, we encourage people to do group ride coming in as a group. Right. So different people say, hey, I will come in from, say, sandstone range. So several people say, yeah, I will join you there. Some people may come in from Boulder. They say, yeah, I will join you by this time. So that's another platform where we can facilitate and help different riders to get together. Fascinating. No, that's really great to know. Um, we can also share with you any of the zip codes from the registrants from Micron. So that'll make it even easier for you to sort of determine who are those who, who are those people that you might be able to pair up or match up for a group ride. Um, I think that's a great point. Not everybody is comfortable riding their bikes to work. So again, all of these tips just make it easier for them to use that mode on the day of the event. Thank you. And how cool that you were able to get some merchandise for participants. Again, those incentives go a long way. It does. Awesome. We've also got on the other end of the size spectrum um, from our extra small winner, we've got Laura Morgan from Rebel Stoke. So Laura, what tips can you share with the team? And um, again, what, what were your impressions of the, of the event last year? So loved the event last year. It was excuse me, my first time participating. We had participated previously as an organization, but didn't get quite the engagement that we had wanted. Um, things that we offered previously were like a bike tune up if someone, you know, brought their bike in or rode their bike in, I should say. Um, <clears throat> we found that swag was a little bit more enticing for people. So we ordered <laughs> custom jerseys from Primal. We have one here that has our logo down the side and on the, the side pocket. So for this year, I'm working with them for something a little bit more customized because we were ordering them a little bit late. Um, we kind of chose a shirt that was already kind of pre-made and then just added our logos to it, which was nice. But this year, I think um, we're gonna have customized like uh, wind, windbreaker type jackets, water jacket type, that type deal. So something a little bit different for people to add to their, their gear. <clears throat> you only get one if you participate. So you have to sign up and participate, <laughs> which is great. So that seemed to get more people involved and excited. Uh, we also all gathered at a station. We're in Cherry Creek. So we gathered at a station nearby. 
we got a photographer, we got some really nice photos. Jerseys are very splashy. So like we needed, we needed some more material <laughs> for our website and also comes back to kind of our ESG initiatives and what we're working on as an organization. So for us, this is kind of like a launching point of, okay, like let's get everyone to participate. Then we did a monthly challenge after that. So like once a month, bought breakfast for everyone that came in, you know, participated, et cetera, and then culminated in your October month, you know, month long challenge. And then we took all of that, um, calculated the miles that everyone had commuted in and what we had saved and like what we had offset. Uh, and that went into our annual report. So kind of a fun way to, to tie it all together. So big things, customized, fun, splashy jersey. <laughs> breakfast for everybody because everyone likes food. So that's it. Wow. It really feels like you were super creative in coming up with those ideas. Um, I am going to ask you once you have those jerseys, we want to see those on social, please tag us and post a photo. Um, and then it'll be cool to see that team picture um, on the day of. So all of those people who both signed up and participated, that is an important, um, an important, I think, level to clear. For sure, we will do that. Awesome. Well, um, I think, you know, I I'm, I'm glad you mentioned two things. So you mentioned the stations. Um, Blair talked a little bit about Bike to Work Day stations. I do wanna go into just a little bit more detail about what those are, because those can also be, as Laura mentioned, a really great engagement tool. So we basically approach lots of organizations, um, transportation and advocacy partners throughout the region, and we ask them to host what we call rider appreciation stations on the day of Bike to Work Day. Um, so basically you've got a booth, maybe it's outside your business, or if you have a relationship with a local jurisdiction, it could be um, near a trailhead or a park, um, but just somewhere where you do see heavy bike traffic, you could set up a table with shade um, and do multiple giveaways. So you could give away water, you could give away food, snacks, or swag. Um, and really entice people to visit you there to talk about your business um, or really just highlight any programs that you're working on at the, at the time. Um, it's also a really great way, like Laura mentioned, to congregate with your staff. So if you're looking for a place to ride as a group um, and you see there's a station near your office that's, let's say, giving away burritos, um, why not just plan to have all of your staff ride to that station at some point in the morning together? It's kind of a fun team building opportunity and again, it's a fun way for people to participate in the event. Um, other thing I wanted to mention is Gotober. So um, Laura mentioned that they really carried the business challenge into the fall by using these monthly challenge um, strategies to get people to stay engaged with eco-friendly commuting from the end of the Bike to Work Day event through the beginning or rather middle of the fall. So Gotober is a commuter and company challenge that we run every October, um, much like the business challenge, we really ask you coordinators to help us get employees to participate in this event. Um, Gotober is month long, and we just ask that riders track their eco-friendly commutes throughout those 30 days. Um, we've got someone on the line now, Jeff over at Feedback Sports is actually a winner from this year's Gotober event and a participant in last year's Bike to Work Day Challenge. So Jeff, kind of knowing holistically how these programs work, um, I wanted to turn things over to you to see if you had any, again, best practices, feedback, advice, um, given your successes in Gotober and, of course, the business challenge. Uh, thank you uh, for the opportunity to chat. But um, we're a cycling company, so it was really easy. Um, a lot of our folks uh, ride to work anyway. And in that time, we are... I guess based on the, the program last year, the GoTober program, we're working on a, a year round uh, version of that. So I'd say GoTober was really the catalyst to encourage riders to gauge the participation and make sure it's something we as a company can really get behind. So uh, the win for us was a win, you know, something more importantly that we can carry forward. So we created some incentives uh, as a cycling company, it wasn't hard to get a lot of engagement. So really everyone in the company uh, participated in some way, whether it was uh, uh, carpooling, you know, driving halfway and, and riding. So we were able to 
monitor it through the app and, and make sure that we recorded our rides. Uh, so we found it very easy. Uh, we found it, it something that brought us together and gave us uh, something to, to communicate about and strive for. We had one employee uh, commute every single day through the month, uh, even a day that we were closed for construction. Uh, he rode to the office, uh, turned off his computer, turned on his computer and rode home. So uh, he did win everything, uh, which included a comp day from us. So we had a lot of fun with it. And I, I can't stress enough how much it set us up for doing this year round. That's really great. And I think the, the, the thing that I really want to highlight is the fact that it brought you together as a team. This is a really fun team building opportunity. Um, both GoTober as well as the business challenge are just a way for you to sort of build that camaraderie. Um, and obviously bike riding is fun. You can see that in our theme of joy ride. So absolutely um, leverage that messaging and uh, get, get your staff involved. We want to say thank you to all of the speakers um, for, for sharing your feedback. Really appreciate hearing um, your, your stories, your successes, and really just those tips for the rest of our coordinators. Um, that concludes the presentation. So I wanted to open things up for questions now. Um, Maddie, if you wouldn't mind, um, let's maybe start with the questions from chat. And then if anybody has questions that they haven't dropped into chat, feel free to raise your hand. Yeah, sounds good. So I think this first one is a question for Blair. Um, we are wanting to know what companies we used for the swag. Yeah, so we're working with a, a company, a merchandise company called Out of the Blue. Um, we should have a link to a, a hosting site for uh, where people can order all kinds of merch. I think we have four types of shirts, a hat, and a visor that will be available this year. Um, and so th that should be, um, we should have that link to be able to send out here pretty shortly, I think in the next like week or so. And Thank I'll you. just mention Out of the Blue is based out of Boulder. Um, we always like to work with local companies. So another one was um, maybe more of a comment for you is if we could trans for, uh, make the, documents in the um, Dropbox uh, in a, into a zip file to send in the email because it seems like it's blocked by some of um, different companies' firewalls. Absolutely. I feel like we often run into this with Dottie. So um, Devin, if that was your comment, I got you. Um, and then we need to know the hashtags to use on social media for this. Yes. Um, you know what? I think we didn't include the hashtags in that organizer toolkit, so I will send those out as well. But thank you for the reminder on that. Make a note here. Um, I'm not seeing this exact question now, but there was one that what do you do if someone signs up for your company and they're not in your company? Uh, please do let us know. Um, I'm not exactly sure how you would see that. Um, I don't think that as business challenge coordinators, in fact, I know as business challenge coordinators, you are not able to see the names of the users who register unless we send you that information. Um, I, I would say if you're able to determine whether somebody has registered as a member of your company and you know they don't work there, um, reach out to us. Unfortunately, we really don't have any safeguards in place to make sure that people aren't doing that. So we will absolutely um, be, be able to help you kind of uh, export any list. So yes, I, I guess that would be my answer. Um, and then the converse of that is let's say you realize that you've got five employees from your organization who registered for Bike to Work Day, but they did not register as part of your company. Um, we can also help you reconcile that um, proactively. So def or retroactively, um, just let us know which of those users needs to be added as an employee for your company, and we can do that as well. Um, this says the merchandise has run out of stock in the past years. Any suggestions for those companies who buy gear for their participants as they sign up? 
So I will say that in the last couple of years, um, we have been affected by distribution issues, just like every other industry. Um, I'm not sure pre-pandemic um, whether whether merchandise sales ran low or inventory ran low, but I can say in 2021 and 2022, it was hard for our distributor or our manufacturer to get all of the shirt blanks. And that's why we did run low on inventory in those years. One of the reasons we selected a new vendor this year is because he has assured us that he's got a lot of these blanks in stock. And we looked at all of the inventory numbers beforehand and feel very confident um, that we won't run out of inventory this year. So that's really all I can, all the advice I can give. Um, make your orders early. We will send out an email as soon as the merchandise site is available. Um, so just look out for your inboxes and click on that link quickly. Try to make your orders as soon as you can. Okay, cool. So we got all the questions in the chat um, and it looks like Julie has her hand raised. Yes, mine is also about the merchandise link that isn't ready. Um, will you be sending it to anybody on the call or will it just be um, part of who you send who's registered as a business or how how to, because I, I want to make sure to buy a teacher before you run out. <laughs> yeah, so there will actually be many avenues through which you can buy your merchandise. Um, I will, to everybody who is on this call, we will just download the participant list. Um, anyone who's on this call will receive that link as soon as it's available. It will also be added to the bike to workday.co website on the home page, just one of those secondary tiles um, in the middle of the page that says order gear. So you can click on that. And we will be including the merchandise link in all of our email communications, whether those are to riders, businesses, or station organizers. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right, we got a, a new question in chat before that hand get, got up. So I'm gonna do this one real quick. Um, wondering if it's possible to give a code to employees to redeem and so they won't have to pay, but the final order will go to their employer. I would love to talk to whoever has this request offline. I believe there's a way we can facilitate that, but we would wanna do that on a business by business basis rather than you know have sort of a, a code for everybody. So um, can Maddie, can you drop my email into chat and have whoever mm -hmm. asked that question, just send me an email and we can get on a quick call. No problem, I'll do that. Thank you. Um, and Sarah, go ahead with your hand raised. I had, I had a question. Um, so we have, when I registered our company, I registered with our employee count with our full company, which that includes our two field offices on the Western Slope. So our corporate office only has, I believe, 70, um, 72 people. So did I register wrong? Because the only people that would be participating were the people at our corporate office in Denver. If that's the case, yeah, Sarah, why don't we update that um, number for you? So um, you said, and so the, the company is, um, remind me how to pronounce that, is it Karis? It's Karis, yes. Perfect. So you want us to change your employee count to 70, is that correct? Um, it's currently 72. Perfect. We will just go ahead and update that. Um, you raise a really great point. The employee count that we're asking for is really the number of employees who will be both participating um, or maybe a better way to look at it is who you're marketing to. So if you're just marketing to those 72 employees, we'll update that employee count. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. That was, I was like, oh my gosh, because I know these the, the points are based on a percentage of employees. And if, you know, we're basing it on our almost 300 employees and only 72 are actually eligible to participate, then it's really going to our numbers. So I appreciate that. I, um, I look forward to the challenge. Thank you. Yay, we want you to succeed. Um, so any of you, if you look at that leaderboard and you feel like that number isn't reflective of the number of people who can participate in Business Challenge, let us know. Um, email btwd at drcog.org and we will happily um, adjust those numbers for you. So that was all the questions in the chat um, and there's not currently any more hands up. 
maybe give it a minute in case give anyone. A few minutes. Yeah. Um, and as I mentioned too, we're happy to answer any questions offline as well on btwd at drcog.org. You can also reach out to me directly, um, particularly around merchandise sales. We are still sorting through some of those details like around um, you know, company orders. So if there, if there are specific requests or, or use cases that you're hoping to get some clarity into, feel free to reach out. All right. Well, I will stay on the line for about 10 more minutes, um, just in case any of you had questions that you, you know, wanted to ask me in a smaller setting. Um, I will just be here. But if you have no other questions, do feel free to drop. As I mentioned, we will follow up with the recording link and the link to that toolbox and Dropbox. Um, but like I said, it's also in chat. So feel free to click on that and bookmark that and uh, access that at any time. We will also look into whatever error was occurring in Chrome with that drop down. Um, Nisha, someone's asking if you can please resend the Dropbox link. Absolutely. I'm just going to go over to that slide and paste it right in here. Thank you so much. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for joining. Thank you. You bet. Thanks. Have a great day. You too, Devin. Thanks for joining. Thanks, Nisha. Yeah, you bet, Nick. Um, Kathy or Evelyn, did you have any questions for us? Anything we can help you with? I think we called this. What a great call. Thank you all so much. Appreciate uh, your participation. Thanks, guys. It's going to be a fun one. Yay. See you, <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hey, Nisha. Before, oh, shoot, Brittany just left. But Brittany had messaged me during the chat and said that um she couldn't figure out a way to update someone's list or their business challenge so we'll have to like create yeah, a new one and then delete. Oh, okay. oh, oh 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 let's not do that because it will create a new record we'll just ask jeff to update that employee count and then they won't lose any of the registrants okay i'll let her know because i told her i was like Thank i'll you. just have them okay yeah yep. just ping her now and let her know not to delete that Okay. Thank Sounds you. good. All right. Excellent. Bye. See ya.